Think about the time, the late 1700s, patriots taking over, man, we never running. Back to Kettle Creek, see warriors with weapons to kill that Tory threat, but GA's protection, whoa, a group of thugs that'll catch your attention. Powerful patriots in these three I'll mention. You got Dooley, Dab, and Nancy Hart. This is just my view, I'm Elijah Clark. I'll start with the dude I got to trust. He saved my life, give him props, that's a must. Respect full slave hand with a steady course. When mine died, he gave me his horse. This proud man, Austin Dabney, who was so good, he set himself free. A great fighter, despite his hue. Next up, a girl whose aim was true. Whoa, a stern woman I met by the creek. A six foot giant who was never weak. Whispers of Nancy is what they were saying. From what I hear, she ain't never planned. A group of tourists busted in just like that. They said, feed me, quartering act. They chose the wrong house, family apart. Nancy looked them in the eyes and tore them apart. The five Tories felt safe in their coats of red, not knowing their pride would leave them dead. She killed them all by the end of morn. Then the legend of Nancy Hart was born. She's the neighbor of my close friend, John Dooley, the one who helped us win. We talked to Pickens to flank them from the back. We agreed to a surprise attack that day, Feb 14th. Me and Dooley go through the woods to sneak. A loud bang meant the battle had begun. For the British thought their war was won. The Patriots used cunning to win the battle at the creek whose name was Kettle. Boy, the Tories dropped all of their guards. Finally, the Patriots were holding the cards. For six months, the British were getting rocked till Savannah, when our momentum stopped. The siege was a plan, not very smart. Attacking the fort took a lot of heart. Every time I think I go back to Creek, Battle of Kettle Creek, in this state, we were pushed back. Now it's time to push back. Yeah. Oh!